Good morning guys, welcome to the first adventure for this amazing summer. Today is the day that we're going to Portugal and I'm extremely excited. By the way, I'm 10 minutes before everybody. The train station is over there, so never mind. And yeah, right now we, we are in the beautiful Tilburg area. Currently it's 5 o'clock. And I'm extremely excited guys, without any further ado, let's go get it! The first city in our trip to Portugal was Porto. Porto is a city and a port in northern Portugal. The city lies along the Douro River, two miles from the river's mouth on the Atlantic Ocean and 175 miles from north of Lisbon. World famous for its port wine, the city has 1.7 million inhabitants. By the time we arrived there, we came across one terrifying heat. The heat wave caused quite a lot of the annual fires and to be exact it was 42 degrees while we were climbing up the hills of Portugal. Hey guys, we finally came to the apartment that I managed to find for the rest of the gang and as you can see we're on the third floor or I don't know actually how much you can see but we're on the third floor. Here we have elevator and then this is the... <laughs> they want to say hi to the vlog. Hello. And then this is the entrance. So we close it here. Here we have one huge bedroom with a kitchen, and I'll show it in the end. Then here we have a toilet with a small, uh, yeah, washing place. Then our sink. Here we have a table. We climb these stairs. And after we climb those, we turn to the left and this is the boys room. Here we have a shower and another toilet. And there in here we have two big size beds for the boys. And uh, basically that's our small apartment. I hope that we are going to have a total rest. And right now I do believe that we are going to chew. Because in the evening we are going to the center room of Portugal itself. See you there. The first thing that came up to my mind was how small are the streets in Porto. According to Bia, the streets of Porto hasn't been renovated in a while, which leads to this authentic vibe of the city. The buildings, both new and old, are replicating perfectly the detail craft of the Portuguese experts. Small shops and lively, but yet somehow hidden taverns are the gems of the city. Churches and museums are another important thing of our stay. We managed to get into one of the biggest churches in Porto, and I was completely speechless by the detail of the Portuguese artists. Did you know that for the creation of the Harry Potter books, J.K. Rowling came to Porto? While J.K. Rowling has mentioned that she started writing the first book in her native England, she continued developing the story and drew inspiration from her surroundings in Porto. There is no question that some of the places that I visited and experienced during my recent trip to Porto have striking similarities to the Harry Potter universe. How the fuck did we end up here, Georgie? <laughs> Good morning, bro. Flex, flex, boom. Two of the places that I visited were, I want to say my apologies in advance for pronouncing it wrongly or incorrectly. Livaria Leo is one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. Many say that J.K. Rowling was inspired by the bookstore's old oriented staircase and magnificent details. Majestic Cafe is said to be the second most popular spot for hanging out of J.K. Rowling and some say that she has often been spotted writing down ideas on napkins. The cafe is beautiful and full of details. Of course, it wouldn't be an adventure if we haven't tested the local clubs as well. We managed to enter cool bars and clubs with diverse music from reggaeton to hardcore techno and I'm glad to say that Porto is a great place to party in. In order to immerse fully into the Portuguese culture, we needed to try the most typical drinks and meals. The local coffee called Bica or coffee is a very strong replica of General Espresso. However, the difference is the seeds are being heavily roasted. The Portugal cuisine is focusing mostly on sandwiches, meat, fries and sweets. 
I tasted local dishes such as pastel de nata, which is a small pastry made from egg custard or tart pastry, optionally dusted with cinnamon. Another dish that we tasted was Francesina, aka Francesca, this is how me and my friends called it, which is made from ham, steak, sausage, chunky slices of bread, melted cheese, a beer and a tomato sauce and chips and this is one hefty sandwich. Lastly, the most unique drink of the region of Porto is their signature drink, the port. Port is a Portuguese fortified wine produced in the Douro Valley of the northern Porto. It is typically sweet red wine, often served with dessert, although it comes in dry, semi-dry and white varieties. Well guys, that was it for today, thank you so much for watching my trip to Porto and I hope that you managed to immerse as well within the Portuguese culture. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video of mine where I'm going to surf. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.